Thanks for joining us for another edition of The Small Business Show with Jim Fitzpatrick, exclusively on ASBN.com. Hey everyone, Jim Fitzpatrick. Thanks so much for watching another edition of The Small Business Show. Having a good marketing system and plan is essential to growing your business. We're joined now by author, speaker, marketing consultant, and founder and president of Duct Tape Marketing. That's right. I said Duct Tape Marketing. Who can't relate to that? John Chance. So uh, John has spoken for TEDx and has been featured in the New York Times, USA Today, Inc. Magazine, Entrepreneurial Magazine. But to really top off his career now, he's now on ASBN.com. Right, John? Thank you so That's much right, for joining absolutely. us on the show. Highlight of my 30 years. That's right. All of those other smaller publications you may have heard, you may not have heard. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much for joining us on today's show. We very much appreciate it. Love the name of the company, Duct Tape Marketing. As I said before we got recording, who cannot relate to fixing anything with duct tape, right? Yeah, and I've, you know, it's a metaphor, obviously, but it's something that I've taken a lot of advantage of. I think, you know, our clients, small, mid-sized businesses, I think all can relate, you know, to the idea that sometimes you just got to make something work. Um, it, you know, you don't have to have a big budget. You don't, it doesn't have to always be pretty. You know, it just has to, <laughs> has to work. And I think that, that affection for duct tape, I think, uh, has certainly helped me. That's right. That's right. Hey, for the few people that in our audience, our vast audience across the country that may not know you and your story, share a little bit about your entrepreneurial journey. Sure. Well, it might take our whole show. I've been doing this about uh, 30 years. Uh, you know, I, I'll go kind of the quick version right out of college. I went to work for an ad agency and about five years in, I was like a lot of people, how hard could it be to run a business? Right. So yeah. I jumped in uh, really then. So it is approaching 30 years. Um, no real plan. Uh, I knew I could hustle work. I think that's one of the keys to, to success is figuring it out as you're doing it. Sure. Um, and uh, so I started an agency and uh, um, you know what? I, I know you've got some more questions about what I do today. We've certainly evolved a lot, you know, over over those years, uh, and now we actually have a plan uh, mm -hmm. for what we're doing. <laughs> and uh, so we've, uh, you know, we still serve small, mid-sized businesses, but uh, it's been quite a journey. Sure. And your plan is actually a system, right? So switching yeah. gears a little bit, what inspired you to create the duct tape marketing system? Yeah, so so I got, you know, all kinds of clients when I first started, big ones, little ones, big projects, little projects. And I, sure. I really found that I loved working with small business owners. But as any of your listeners can relate to, you know, they sometimes they're a little difficult, at least in the fashion I'd been trained in the kind of traditional agency world. They had the same needs, not the same budgets, not the same attention That's spans, right? right? That's right. And uh, so I said, look, I, if I'm going to do this and scale this thing, I'm, I've got to be able to walk in and say, look, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what you're going to do. Here's the results we hope to get. And here's what it costs. Do you want it or not? Right. Um, and, and that was really, so it was kind of trying to solve my frustration. Um, I luckily sort of fell into solving what is still today, maybe increasingly, one of the greatest frustrations for small and mid-sized businesses. It's really hard to buy marketing services and got even more challenging today because there's so much more technology, so many new platforms, you know, things changing rapidly. So the fact that somebody was gonna come in and say, look, we're gonna install a system, it's going to start with strategy before tactics. You're going to know what it costs. I mean, that was kind of music to their ears, and that's really become my life's work. Wow, that's fantastic. So what is the duct tape marketing fractional CMO plus system? What is that? You, you bet. So, you know, most agencies uh, today are out there going to businesses saying, what do you need? Sure, we do that. <laughs> you know, and then they create a plan. It's like, oh, you need a <laughs> website? Right. We'll do that. You need content? Sure, sure, we can do that. You need to run some ads? Sure. Well, what I've always felt like, it, it was almost like, um, it was almost like an orchestra. Have you ever seen an orchestra when they warm up? Um, you know, it's chaos, right? It I mean, everybody's yeah. just doing their own thing. Nobody's right. on music. They're just warming up. Yeah. Um, and that's what I think a, a lot of marketing that way is like. And so I said, well, what if there was a conductor who put a sheet of music in front of everybody, <laughs> you know, all the various parts and said, let's play this way. Let's play in this timing. And so everybody that comes to us, we um, they actually go through what we call strategy first. It is an actual engagement that we have done thousands of times now uh, that uh, that really gives them the strategic framework to not only know what to do, but to know what not to do, mm -hmm. which frankly today is probably just as important. Um, from that, the plus part is that 
when we work with an <clears throat> with a business, they typically um, you know really get fired up about what we've proposed, the plan, the new strategy, the new messaging, you know, clearer idea on who their target to, or ideal client is. But now it's like, who's going to do all this for sure. me? So we actually provide that, and that's the plus place part is that we give them strategy, but then we also give them implementation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And how do you implement the duct tape marketing system with your with your uh, with your clients? Yeah, so the, the first part I started to describe, about 30 to 45 days or so, we go through a very specific, very prescriptive, you know, we talk to their clients, we do all kinds of research. I mean, we work on and, and create this strategy document that we're going to work with, you know, really for the next year. Um, then kind of quarter by quarter, we do sprints. You know, many people come to us and they have foundational needs. I mean, their website's not doing anything for them. They have a very loose relationship with content. So, you know, we build the foundation and that's generally takes the first quarter. Second quarter, now we're going to go into, let's make the phone ring, you know, ring. Let's, let's generate leads, you know, and then we just kind of, as they mature or as we mature their marketing, doing adding, you know, layering on some of these new tactics, you know, then we move into, let's convert more leads. Let's start getting monthly recurring revenue uh, kicked up. So we have, I mean, our, our clients work with us for years because we don't just um, implement a couple tactics and do them over, you know, over and over again ad nauseum. I mean, we actually have stages that we move people through uh, to help them mature their marketing uh, as well as get better results. Yeah, that's fantastic. So what, what separates you guys from some of the other marketing companies out there? Well, I, you know, I hate to pick on most of them, but you know, the, the, they have a very, um, um, dim view of this idea of strategy. I mean, it's just, it, it really is a lot of, you know, we, here's the, here's the package of tactics that we provide, <laughs> you know, let's bolt it onto you and, and, you know, make it work for you. And I, again, I, one of the biggest things that I think we do is we help people really understand the value, the true value, the, 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 the unique value that differentiates them, you know, from everybody else in the market. Uh, you know, we call ourselves fractional CMOs. Everybody else is calling themselves marketing agencies. Um, it may sound like semantics, but it's a significant differentiator that really connects with the right client. Anybody who comes to us and says, I want to hire a fractional CMO is expecting to do strategy. So it really helps yeah. us attract the right client. And, and that's the exact same thing we do for our clients. And it makes all the difference in the world because they're attracting the right clients that they can actually charge a premium uh, to because uh, they've communicated and connected with them in the right way. Right, right. What are some of the fundamental mistakes that you see small business owners make and sure. entrepreneurs make when it comes to marketing? Well, I think a, a couple that we see all the time, you know, try, if I sell accounting services, anybody who seems to need accounting services is my market, right? I mean, so that's the one trying to be all things uh, to all people. Uh, the other one that we see, you know, just as much, and, and I get it, um, it's kind of the idea of the week. It's like, oh, I heard I'm supposed to be on TikTok, go. You know, <laughs> I heard I'm supposed to be doing video, go. You know, I heard I'm supposed to run Facebook ads, go, and, and really not, I mean, maybe those are all good ideas, but not really giving any idea uh, the time to mature and actually have some results in. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And today, right now, with specifically with those platforms that you mentioned in social media, it's very yeah. convoluted, very yeah. um, fragmented. And, and, and small business owners are like, look, I know how to build this cup right here and sell right. it in masses. I, I don't know how to do video. I don't know how many times a day, where do I need to be? Yeah. What I don't know that I'm good in front of a camera. I don't even know that I want to be in front of a camera, although we're told you got, if you're the business owner, you have right. to represent your business. Yeah. Is all of that essential today? Well, I, I, I yes, is the short answer. However, you know, most businesses are strapped for time and resources or some of the right. constraints you just mentioned. So what we always advise is, we're going to make a best guess about where where your time, your little bit of time is best spent. You know, so for like a lot of B2B businesses, the business owner spending time on LinkedIn um, and not worrying about all the other platforms is probably where they're going to get the best bang for their buck. And by focusing just on, say, one, um, and it doesn't mean you won't eventually grow into others, but by focusing on and getting good at one, you can kind of master how that platform works. They all want their content in a different format, <laughs> different size, a different shape. Uh, so you, you really can't get good at uh, all the platforms unless you just have a big team you know, behind you helping you do it. Mm -hmm. So we always advise people, let's make a guess 
an educated guess about where we think your time is best spent. And then let's go deep there because uh, the fact of the matter is people are finding companies there. That's a place you can build trust. Um, you know, that's a place that you can ultimately turn that trust into business if sure. you participate consistently. Right, right, right. And it's and it's funny because, you know, what, what we thought about marketing 25 years ago, um, you know, in terms of TV and direct mail and yeah. magazines and and uh, newspaper and what have you, it, it's not even on the list today, is it? I mean, for um, the most part. Yeah, I, I mean, I think a lot of those others have really risen because a lot of people look at social media and they say, oh, it's free. Yeah. You know, I could reach my audience for free. Though. That's right. Um, we all know there's a lot of cost you yeah. know, involved in, you know, even if it's your time. Sure. Um, I will say that the pendulum certainly swung very far one way. I'm seeing it swing back a little bit. We're, we're actually, you know, like all things, People aren't on radio. People aren't doing print. Well, maybe that's a good place to go check out. <laughs> yeah. Again, the you know that that you know pendulum. After doing this so many years, the pendulum has a tendency to swing back uh, the other way quite often. Right. Right. Yeah, that's a good point. And it's probably a lot cheaper today than it was years ago. Oh. Maybe the first the, you know the first time you looked at it. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and the, yeah, cheaper the, and easier. I mean, you can test things, and and there's. You know, it used to have to be you had layers upon layers of, of you know, you had to have media buyers to get you, you know, access to things and, and everything. Everybody can pretty much go direct today. That's right. If I have a company and we're doing $100,000 a month in sales, is there, a, is there a rule as to what I should be spending, spending percentage-wise in marketing? Well, I, I of course, have... A, um, I have a very non-satisfying consultant answer. Um, you know, as little as you need to, right? I mean, there isn't any rule, um, but there's certainly there, you certainly are going to have trouble growing, you know, past that hundred thousand dollars if you aren't investing uh, in marketing. So eight ten percent of of your revenue probably needs to be looked at in some fashion as as an investment in growing your business uh, through marketing. Yeah, for sure. And I, I love the way you say investment because that's really what it is. That's what your ad dollars need to be looked at that way rather right. than an expense or a cost because you yeah. are investing in your brand to get that brand in front of people so that you can make more money and get on and, and take on more customers, right? Yeah, yeah. And and that's why we're so big on strategy first as yeah. well, because, you know, a lot of people waste a lot of money uh, in marketing. Yeah. And uh, what strategy really does is helps us hone in on where where that investment's going to uh, give the biggest return. Right, right. Do you help companies of all size budgets, whether they have that eight to 10,000 a month or or maybe they've got 100,000 or, or a million a month? I mean, do you help ever, all of them? We, we have worked with smaller organizations. I would say that, you know, somebody has to cross over that million dollar range to, to really, for it to even make sense for them to have a strategic marketing person, a fractional CMO. A million a year or a million a month? Yeah, a, a, a year. A year. A year. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, as kind of a bottom threshold. Sure. Um, and, and for anybody that's grown a business, you know, uh, you're just trying to, it's almost like you're getting proof of concept, you know, do, can clients trust me? Can my yeah. message work? Does my product work? Can I deliver? That's the first goal. And then you cross that million mark and all of a sudden I need team, you know, I need more people and, and new problems start showing up. And then you put, you know, you cross that 5 million, that 10 million, yeah. you know, new problems start showing up. So, you know, we, we work with people, you know, all the way up to, you know, divisions of fortune 100 companies, but our, our sweet spot, quite frankly, is that million to $20 million company company that really has never had a formalized approach to marketing. It's usually sure. the founder was pretty good at selling. Yeah. And for that size company, you know, when you talk about a CMO, you know, right away, you're talking about a six figure income plus yeah. benefits, oh, yeah. plus car, yeah. plus everything else that goes along with it. And, uh, and nowadays it's maybe not just a hundred grand, maybe it's two or 300 grand or more it, it, for that. Person. Yeah. I mean, it's two, 260 is, you know, what salary.com yeah. so says. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, ab absolutely. And that's really obviously the, you know, one of the key selling points of a fractional yeah. CMO. They, because not only um, is it more expensive to have that person, they don't need that person. Right. <laughs> yeah. You know, their, their, their strategic needs are somebody who's orchestrating, somebody who's paying attention, somebody who's accountable for you know marketing, which a lot of business owners uh, aren't uh, in their own businesses. Right. Um, but they they can get that you know once a week, uh, certainly once a month, certainly once a quarter. You know where we're doing sprints, and so it's a great way to have C level experience brought into your business without the C level price. That's right. That's right. Would you say that it's 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 often the case where small business owners and entrepreneurs 
never give a campaign enough time <laughs> yeah. to, to work. I mean, I've got friends of mine, I've been in that situation myself, where you run something for a month and you go, oh my gosh, just stop it, it didn't work, it didn't bring in the, the leads we wanted, or the traffic, or the sales, or what have you. Stra just trash that, that campaign and that <laughs> expense, or in this case, the investment. And in meanwhile, it ran for 30 days. Yeah. Well, the, you know, again, the short answer is, you know, we see it all the time. Yeah. Um, and, and really what we prefer, I mean, if, if we've gone into this thing with some thought, um, you know, there was hopefully a reason. And so what, you know, rather than scrap it, it's like, okay, what do we need to tweak? Like, are we measuring all the steps? Like, where are we losing people? A lot of times, you know, the ad is killing it. You get people to a certain point and, and for whatever reason, they don't advance. Well, let's fix that step. Yeah. Um, in many cases, that can unlock, you know, the entire piece rather than just kind of chucking it. The other thing that I see, quite frankly, it's not really part of your question, but it's just as sad. So we have people all the time that stuff's working and they're just like, oh, I'm tired of that. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you know, it's like your, your market hasn't even seen that. <laughs> you know, right, exactly. I know you're tired of it because you look at it every day. But uh, I know, think I've fallen into that a few times. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. That's right. We'll change it just for the sake of changing it. So <laughs> no question about it. Well, John, thank you so much for stopping by. We very much appreciate it. And uh, it's John Chance, and it's uh, speaker, marketing consultant, founder, and president of Duct Tape Marketing. Great name. Thank you so much for joining us. And we're going to show the information on the screen here as to how to get a hold of John if you're interested in learning more about he and his company. They're doing great work. Or maybe you want to have him speak at your next, uh, your, your next event. So thank you so much. Oh, I appreciate it. Thanks for joining us for another edition of The Small Business Show with Jim Fitzpatrick, exclusively on ASBN.com.